As we all know, we're closer to Starship's Flight 5 than ever before. But a launch like this doesn't just happen out of nowhere. There are many tests and preparations that need to be completed to make it a reality. That's exactly what SpaceX has been focused on recently. They've just conducted a crucial test on the launch tower, which plays a big role in their ambitious plans. In today's update, we'll dive into this important test, the results, and what it means for the upcoming launch. Let's get into the details. The preparations for Starship's Flight 5 have taken longer than expected due to several critical factors, with one of the biggest being SpaceX's ambitious plan to catch the Super Heavy booster mid-air using the launch tower's chopsticks arms. This method is a significant departure from previous booster recovery techniques where the booster would either land in the ocean or use legs to touch down on a platform. Now, instead of splashing into the sea, SpaceX aims to guide the Super Heavy booster back to the launch site and catch it mid-air, a first in space history. This is not just any catch, though. The process is incredibly challenging and demands an extraordinary level of precision. The chopsticks must position themselves perfectly to catch the massive 200-ton booster as it returns at high speeds with fuel remaining. Aiming for such accuracy is already complex, but it becomes even more difficult because the Super Heavy will be returning with a lot of momentum. The booster could weigh up to 500 tons due to its mass and the remaining fuel during descent, making the entire operation highly delicate. SpaceX has been preparing for this by testing the chopsticks mechanism extensively. During the recent test conducted in early October, SpaceX used large water bags weighing a total of 500 tons, simulating the mass of the Super Heavy booster during re-entry. These tests showed that the chopsticks could handle the weight, moving slightly under the impact but remaining stable throughout. However, this may not be the final test before the actual flight. What makes this catching process even riskier is that the tower, known as Mechazilla, is not a standalone structure. It's surrounded by billions of dollars worth of infrastructure, including fueling systems and other critical components for launching Starship. If something goes wrong during the catch, not only could the booster be destroyed, but it could also cause catastrophic damage to the entire launch site. A failure of this scale could set SpaceX back by years and cost an immense amount of money. That's why SpaceX has been serious in ensuring that everything works perfectly. In preparation for this, SpaceX also conducted a virtual tower test during the fourth flight, simulating the booster's approach to the tower without actually catching it. This allowed SpaceX to gather data and practice the process without putting the actual tower and surrounding infrastructure at risk. The results from this simulation were promising, boosting SpaceX's confidence to move forward with a real catch attempt in the upcoming fifth flight. Despite the promising tests, the catch remains incredibly risky. The precision required for the chopsticks to grab the booster in mid-air, combined with the potential for enormous consequences if something goes wrong, makes this one of SpaceX's most ambitious objectives to date. As for the next Starship launch, good news has surfaced with plans for the launch to take place between October 13th and 19th. However, despite this optimism, there is still a level of uncertainty. Historically, the FAA has been slow to grant final approvals, particularly for complex projects like Starship, which has faced numerous delays due to regulatory processes. SpaceX and the FAA have been in constant conflict over these delays. The FAA recently fined SpaceX $633,000 for alleged violations in 2023, further straining their relationship. These fines were related to SpaceX not following specific licensing requirements during two launches, including using an unapproved launch control room and storing rocket propellant in an unauthorized facility. Musk has publicly criticized the FAA, claiming the agency's slow regulatory processes stifle innovation. Musk even went as far as suggesting that government bureaucracy is moving slower than it takes to build rockets. This is not the first time the FAA and SpaceX have clashed. During Starship's first launch in 2023, SpaceX waited months after the rocket was fully ready, only for the FAA to delay approval due to environmental concerns. 
Musk expressed his frustration then, stating that regulatory hurdles were a significant barrier to the progress of the Starship program. The same situation repeated for the second, third, and fourth test flights. For example, Starship's second launch faced similar delays, waiting several months for final FAA clearance despite the rocket being ready. FAA's involvement extends beyond just regulatory approval for launches. After Starship's first flight, which saw the rocket explode due to a failed stage separation, the FAA launched a full investigation, grounding the program for months. The agency has continuously emphasized safety, requiring SpaceX to perform extensive reviews and system upgrades. These investigations have considerably slowed down the progress of Starship, frustrating Musk and his team. For Flight 5, while we hope the FAA will allow the launch within the scheduled time frame, there are still concerns. The planned catch of the Super Heavy booster using the chopsticks arms has added complexity, which the FAA is reviewing thoroughly. The approval process is further complicated by environmental assessments and new analyses related to noise levels and flight paths, which are adding time to the process. Given the history of delays, some speculate that late November is a more realistic timeline for the next Starship launch. Musk's goal of launching 1,000 Starships per year seems far off, considering the significant delays SpaceX faces in launching even a single Starship. Each Starship flight has faced months of delays, largely due to the FAA's strict requirements for commercial space launches. Musk has called the situation lawfare, saying that the FAA's slow process is holding back innovation. Some have even suggested that SpaceX could move its launches to other countries, with fewer regulations, which might help the company speed up its launch schedule. However, moving operations outside the U.S. would introduce new challenges, including political and logistical issues. To address these problems, the FAA is introducing a portfolio license. This new type of license would cover multiple launches over a set period, which could help speed up the approval process. While this could be a step in the right direction, it's still in the early stages, and space companies are frustrated with how slow the FAA is to implement these changes. It's not just SpaceX facing challenges with the FAA. The entire U.S. space industry is struggling with the slow pace of approvals. Companies like Blue Origin and SpaceX have even brought these concerns to Congress, arguing that the current system puts American companies at a disadvantage compared to international competitors. A prime example of this is China, which is aggressively advancing its space program and has clear goals to dominate in the space sector. China is not just another competitor. They aim to lead, and their plans for the moon are part of a broader strategy to outpace the U.S. China has announced that they will land astronauts on the moon by 2030, with plans to establish a lunar research base in the 2030s. They are working on building out the infrastructure needed, including super heavy lift rockets and new spacecraft for deep space missions. Unlike the U.S., which has faced delays with the Artemis program, China is pushing forward with fewer public setbacks. Their long-term strategy also includes exploring asteroids, Mars, and eventually building a permanent base on the moon, working in partnership with Russia. The U.S. space industry, meanwhile, is feeling the pressure from the FAA's strict regulatory framework. If you've watched this far, it means you are one of our loyal viewers. And I've got something special just for you. We have highly realistic Starship models available on eBay, exclusively for our dedicated fans. Head to the link in the description and grab your own model. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.